Hello, and welcome back to the IDG Corporate Update. Today, I'm delighted to welcome Don Curry to the program for the first time. Don is the CEO and Director of Hillcrest Energy Technologies, a clean tech innovation company developing solutions for next generation electrical systems. Don, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having us. We're looking forward to this. So this is such an exciting sector to be in right now. Can you give us an introduction to Hillcrest and how you fit into the picture of electrification and sustainability? Yeah, thank you for this. Uh, Hillcrest has, we transitioned into the clean tech, clean energy space about two, a little over two years ago. And since that time, we're uh, we're focused on creating a niche where other people's other people aren't. And quite frankly, I think we've found that. We, uh, we have a power conversion platform, energy platform, whereby we've been able to demonstrate that we can use soft switching, zero voltage switching in a de-energized state to be able to increase efficiency and save costs for the people that implement our, implement our technology. Not only that, we're the first in the world to be able to demonstrate it on a commercial prototype. That is remarkable. So without getting too technical, can you explain how this patented soft switching technology improves on the existing hard switching technology that's used in electrical vehicles today? As I understand, the cost savings are quite dramatic. Yeah, well, the soft switching, I'll start with hard switching. Hard switching is in every electric vehicle that exists out there today. Hard switching has a, a, a decent level of efficiency that comes with it, but it has trade-offs or costs that you have to protect against. Electrical magnetic interference is an example whereby the car companies are paying for protective shielding for the negative effects that come off the, off the inverter. Um, they have no choice. Soft switching, we've been able to demonstrate. It's, it's as I said, it's soft switching or zero voltage switching in a in a de-energized state. It has higher efficiencies. It eliminates the switching losses, and it has better thermal control. Thereby, they don't have to. We've been able to demonstrate they may not have to or won't have to pay for uh, items like protective shielding uh, to protect against uh, negative effects. In this particular example. Uh, Protective shielding with one of the OEMs we're talking to, they pay about $200, $225 per car. It doesn't sound like much, but if you're doing 100,000 cars a year, that's $22 million. Now, here's where the, the rub is. The hard switching inverter and our technology inverter are in or around the same price. So if you have to buy a technology that you have to pay to protect against its effects or buy ours, where you actually save money by using it for the same cost, we think we're in a real good spot. Absolutely. So this is something, a technology that would be of interest to basically every EV automaker in the world. Absolutely. There's no reason that someone wouldn't want to do it. What we're, where we're involved in right now are development projects. We've announced that we're talking to a European OEM, a very well prominent European OEM. We've had three in-house demonstrations where they've supplied the tests they want to see. In each case, we've met or exceeded their expectations. We're now moving into discussions, which would be commercial, definitive commercial discussions of how the relationship would work between us. There are other OEMs that are at the table with us. We have another European OEM that we'll be talking to or are talking to and will be testing in the next month or two. We have uh, some in North America. We're about to have uh, some over in the UK. And so uh, we're looking forward to this. There is a keen interest in the technology we have simply because it's something the industry would have liked to have done themselves, haven't been able to. And by using our application, they can save money. And nobody else has been able to successfully do what you've done to date. Oh, we're a public company. Uh, so, of course, everybody knows what we're doing. If there was a private company that has done what we've been able to do to this point in time, I'm sure they'd be talking to the, uh, the OEMs. The OEMs, we've been able to demonstrate, and what their feedback to us is that no one else has been able to demonstrate to the level that we have. Wow. So what is the timeline for that then? So sorry, everyone's in the testing phase. I guess what's the next step in all of that, that process? We've proven that the technology exists, and we've proven the technology exists. Now it is about applying it to their particular application. So uh, the European OEM, as an example, they provided to us a motor, one of their motors, to show that the technology works with their motor. We had it in our German partners facility. That's the uh, that, Those are the tests I was mentioning that they attended on three separate occasions. We demonstrated that it met or exceeded their expectations. Next step is now discussions of what an agreement between us would look like. What, who is doing what, what will we provide, so on and so forth. So the catalysts are coming close to the commercialization, uh, the commercialization definitive agreement at this point in time. 
Wow, that's really exciting. Is there anything else in terms of catalysts or milestones? I, I understand you just uh, announced a private placement. We're we're primarily we're looking for institutional backing in the company, and uh, we have a, a syndicate that we announced a, a private placement with up to five million dollars, led by Canaccord Genuity. Canaccord Genuity is the lead. We have uh, PI Financial is involved, and a local firm out of Vancouver, Moneta Partners. So we're quite excited about the fact that. There's interest in the investment community to get involved with us, especially since we think we're at the we're at the initial steps. We're about to we're about to move forward in a in a very strong way. So we're pleased that some of these institutions have decided to uh, uh, to take a shot and get behind us. I think it's key too for their purposes that we were a research and development company six months ago, had gone more into development, and now we're getting close to the industrialization. Of the product itself, so we're we're near term revenue or pre revenue at this point in time, but value wise, we think it's just the beginning. And then what we're excited about is this truly is a global opportunity. We have a very strong presence in Germany, based on our German our German partner and some European OEMs. Uh, next week, we're very happy to have been invited to a very exclusive family office event. Global Partnership Family Office is putting on an event where six CSE listed companies have been invited to present. Uh, we're very excited about that. It opens up a whole new world for us. We have a global story. We're approaching this as a global story and looking for any area where we can go and tell it. Absolutely. Well, we're very excited to continue to follow your story, Don. We appreciate it, Yolanda. The opportunity to be able to tell a story is uh, is one we appreciate and, and are thankful for.